All right, this place is called Chenoweth. Uh, I had never heard of it before. Went on a little golf trip to Ohio, played this, Firestone Farms, and one other course, I can't remember the name. Um, start off here, the tight part four, little dog leg right, threw it off the tee, and hit a dart there. Um, so start and birdie, normally not a good thing. <laughs> um, and the second one, another short par four, kind of up the hill, uh, hit another nice three wood, have, uh, you know, 52 degree in, right into the sun, hit a good one, just came up short. Um, and then short game is not great. Not a bad swing there, just, you know, not tap in range. So uh, if there's a chance for me to miss a putt, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, this course was kind of cool, a little tight on some holes, um, but overall pretty nice. Definitely worth it. It was only like 40 bucks. Um, pretty cool. Um, par 4 here, short down the hill, hit another 3 wood. Um, hit a wedge here, not a great one, just, you know, on the green but not close. So got a lag putt here basically, and then a uh, little tap in par. Um, Nice par three here, short, 120, pins in the front, uh, hit a 52, just hit a good one, just didn't, uh, probably used the wrong club, so should have clubbed up and swung a little softer. Tried to go for it here, make it, uh, pushed it by about a uh, couple feet, and uh, had a little comebacker here for the par. So, mm, not too bad, not too bad of a start here, even through four, and then it's all. <laughs> this hole's really goofy. It goes out about 240 and then takes a hard right turn over that pond. So you have to hit like a four iron um, to get out here, something around 210, 220. And I just had a terrible second shot, hit the tree, dropped straight down. So I still got, you know, a seven iron in basically. And uh, kind of went over to the right, goofy green here, kind of like a, an eight shaped green, infinity. I don't know. Pick your favorite. Um, with like a huge dip in the middle, it looked like a mini golf hole here. <laughs> um, so it's really tough to figure out how to play that, but there's your first bogey of the day, folks. There'll be more. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, another short par four up to the right. Um, second shot's kind of cool. Uh, it's up the hill. doesn't really look like it here, but it is. <laughs> uh, green's long and skinny from this angle. Uh, pins way in the back. Hit it in the middle of the green. Um, uphill putt, not that uphill though. Just kind of blast it by here. Uh, got a little six footer comebacker, and it is not going to break that what much. What was track. that? You're not a very good putter. Yeah, yeah. Look at the green and complain about it. Whatever, still suck. Um, <laughs> here's a par five that was an adventure. Hit an absolute nuke, but uh, didn't oh, realize that the trees were there. I guess. <laughs> I thought I could cut the corner. I could not. So I had a little tree trouble here. Tried to hit a punch seven. Landed in the middle of the fairway and then rolled all the way to the right down into this shit and absolutely oh, delayed yeah. that thing from the uh, straw? No. Wood chunks? I uh, hit another one. Landed it right where I wanted to, but <laughs> it rolls downhill from there. So have this thing to save par and sure, why not? It was a par the whole way, right? <laughs> Uh, eight full here, uh, just up the hill. Uh, another short one, not too long. Uh, push this one way right. Had to wait for people to tee off to get to this ball. Never a good sign. Um, <clears throat> not a big deal, though. You know, still 75 in. Just kind of chunk that one. Just short. This green from this angle is uh, rolling away from me, and I did not realize that. <laughs> so I landed it right on top of it, and it just kind of rolled all the way out. So... Got a par chance here, and you didn't hit it. So there's another bogey. Uh, par three here, hit a perfect ball. This thing did not leave the pin the entire time until it landed about 10 yards too low. <laughs> um, and then you do that, which, yeah, just throw it in the pond, John. Just throw it in the pond. Um, long putt now to save par, and did you chunk that? Was that a chunked putt, maybe? Um, so there's your other bogey, four over through nine. Uh, this is a par five, just straight down the hill. It's not left, that's for sure. So I'm in another fairway, another, <laughs> the opposite side of the rough fairway. Um, 
hit a good four iron here must have caught something dead tree or a dead uh, spot or whatever it rolled way back there um tried to hit a punch here just got caught up in the rough uh, so now you got the wedge in your hands and do that really really good short game lately it's been awesome Get out. that putt was not good <laughs> uh but that one was so just a bogey all right now we got a par four up the hill a little here it's going back i already hit this fairway so you know you can go left again and now hit the other fairway and hit an eight iron to the back of the green so nothing too crazy here gave that one a scare huh Ooh, lean into it uh this is for par yeah yeah so there you go that's uh that's about how it goes uh this is another goofy hole uh kind of goes out and takes a 90 degree left um hit it just off the fairway and hit a really really bad wedge here uh, i think it was like 40 yards short hit the tree almost out of bounds uh so get another chance with the wedge here and put it on pretty close so we got a shot to save par hey Jesus. <laughs> that, if for those keeping track at home that's three missed putts from within like four feet um not great uh par three here pulled the crap out of it and then uh landed it short <laughs> again short game just not very good uh, gave it a little scare there for the par save. So a little tap in Vogue. But wedge shots just have to be better here. Uh, 14th. Longer par 4 for here. Um, hit a really good one here. Don't know why the shot tracer didn't pick it up. But I'm too lazy to fix it. So you guys will just have to trust me that it was a good one. <laughs> uh, little wedge in again on this par 4. Not happy with that shot. Not happy at all. That was a nice little temper tantrum, wasn't it? Didn't take anything out though. Bladed the hell out of it. Way over the green. <sighs> Not a bad chip compared to the other ones. I'm actually on the green and can putt, so that's good. Um, I don't know, did I try something different with my putting stroke here? I don't know. Terrible. Um, bogey, again. Not over. <laughs> Another par three. Uh, this one was right at it. Never left the pin. Uh, thought it looked pretty good the whole way it just came up short so you got an outside chance for a birdie here something we haven't had in a while nope can't read green so tap in par which is pretty good all right moving on to the 16th uh this one is a par four it got a little gully um about 260 out there got came up right to the end of the fairway and uh have a 52 in uh, this green slope back no, the front pretty no. good. Um, hit a hit a decent shot here. Um, uh, outside chance at birdie though. That's really not a makeable putt. Or is it? No, no, just not that good. Um, tap in. <laughs> Got some friendly fire over here. Uh, tap in par. So moving on to the seventeenth long par three. Uh, I did chunk it, but that shot tracer had it as a slice. But it was not that. It was just a bad chunky shot. Um, so again, have a wedge in my hand and give myself 15 feet. Not great. Outside chance at par. No. No. Tap in. Bogey. 10 over. 18th. Par 5. Um, up the hill a little bit, and then it kind of dips down uh, before oh, it gets yeah. the green. Absolutely hit a nuke here. This was the best drive of the day. Um, had a 4 iron in and just yanked it. Just yanked it. Um, no excuse for that. <laughs> um have a really good shot here at getting a birdie if you could hit a wedge to save your life no terrible um so just lay it up there tap in par 10 over 81 i think yep 81 thanks for watching please subscribe